So it's about 40, 50 degrees ish. I think the high is 57. It's somewhere in March. I don't know. Oh, it doesn't sound like it's squeaking right now. It's weird. That's really weird. It's not squeaking at all right now. Up oh, there it comes. Huh. Thought it wasn't going to do it. I was hoping that maybe it would like move a bit and quit. <laughs> but like. It never squeaked before, and now it's just squeaking constantly, so... It just makes me feel like something got put back together differently than it was originally. But they say they've taken it apart and put it back together again, and it's still... It's still the same thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a time to go to my mechanic. And he has a couple different tools. He has... I think he has like a legit stethoscope, like a doctor stethoscope. But then he has this other one that has like a... It's like a, um... Punch tool, you know? Like it's got a point on it. I don't know, if you don't know what a punch tool is, um, like, you know, a compass, it's got that sharp screwdriver tip kind of pointy thing on it, and it's hooked to, a, you know, ear, ear bud things that, like, a stethoscope would have, and then you can touch it right on whatever it is. It's like, it's hard to try to find a cylinder that's bad or something that's knocking or something that's ticking, and you can pinpoint exactly where it's coming from instead of just hearing it audibly through the air. I can't, couldn't tell how far that was sticking out the back of that car. What's it say? Iron Rider? Iron Rider? What does that mean? An Iron Rider? Does that mean you're, he climbs scaffolding? He rides a motorcycle? It's a little colder than I anticipated. But tomorrow, I think the high is like 68 or 71 or something like that. And a friend of mine who's back from college wants to go do some video shoots. So he wants to make some, he's the one that just happened to grab some B-roll that one day uh, after I went to lunch with him. That's my intro to my moto vlogs. So we're gonna, we're gonna record another session and we're gonna redo the intro. How cool is that? There's something noisy in front of me. I think it's a Challenger. Sounds fast, but so do Harleys. <laughs> Sorry. I know there's some fast Harleys. Oh no, he's going straight. That's no fun. Good thing about the B-roll that we'll be taking tomorrow, there won't be any audio. So squeak away. The squeak has not changed, by the way, from that ride. And look, now it doesn't squeak. Huh, different heights. It's cold outside. Is it? I just for my new bike. Hi. <laughs> Be on Doug's show. Hmm. If I only, if I don't air it up as much, it doesn't squeak as much. Why is that? Why is that? And will it squeak more as it gets warmer? That was initially what I thought was happening. I'm not sure. We'll see how this is sitting lower than normal, so. Let's see if it rides too rough. I can tell that's a little rougher. But is it tolerable? Sometimes you hit those bumps and it like breaks your back. So that tire is not very flexible. I think it's squeaking still. This is how low I used to ride it. Only about 10 seconds of boopity boopity boop pushing the button. That's how I do it. I count, I count the seconds. Although it's a little difficult to read when the temperature changes. I would like to get a little gauge, a PSI gauge, and then have it somewhere.
that was a lovely, lovely little ride. I'd like to see how that looks in the rear view camera. But she still got it. Okay, well the squeaking is definitely diminished. I feel like the squeaking is getting louder as I go. I think my engine is bigger than the car behind me. And I can say that now because you can see the car behind me. I'm assuming the camera is working properly. Deep, 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 deep. There's a little car with a tiny little engine. Hee! Okay, here we go. Hi, puppy! Hi! <laughs> 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 <laughs>